What's going on guys this is me Mehdi Shakir and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys in this video I am going to show you that how you can install Kali Linux operating system on a laptop hard drive. We are not going to install Kali Linux using the virtual box or any type of virtualization software. We are going to directly install Kali Linux operating system on our laptop. So further ado let's get started. But before that if you need to this channel then please do subscribe this YouTube channel and if you have already subscribed then thank you so much. Okay guys now you can see my computer screen. Now first of all to install Kylinux operating system on a laptop hard drive we need to create a bootable USB pen drive for Kylinux operating system. So let me show you how you can create a Kylinux bootable USB. To do that open up your browser and first of all you have to visit on kali.org this official website this is kylinux official website from here click on download then go to installer images then from here download the kylinux installer iso file from here click on this icon and it will start downloading the kylinux iso file then take another tab and go to rufus.ie using this rufus software we are able to create bootable usb using a operating system iso file so you scroll down and from here download this rufus.exe file i had already downloaded both of them now connect your USB pen drive with your computer. You need at least 8 to 16 GB USB pen drive. I had already connected my pen drive with my computer. Now after that, go to your downloads folder where you downloaded your Kylinux ISO file and the Rufus file. Then double click on this Rufus.exe file. Now from here, make sure to select your USB pen drive. Here I am using 32 GB USB pen drive. Then from here, click on select. Then go to your downloads folder and select the Kylinux ISO file. Then click on open. Then click on start. And now on this option, Select write in DD image mode, then click on OK. And now it will start flashing the Kali Linux operating system into your USB pen drive. It will take some time, so you have to wait until the flashing has been completed. OK guys, now flashing has been completed. Now click on this close button. Then eject your USB pen drive. Now connect the USB pen drive with your laptop. Then power on laptop. And in the meantime, you start pressing the escape button if you have HP laptop like me. It will come up with the boot menu of your computer. Now from this menu, go to boot menu and press enter. Then select USB pen drive. And it will boot the Kylinux operating system from the USB drive. Now from this menu, select the graphical install and press enter. And the Kylinux installer will be started. Now from here, select your language and press continue. Then select your location, then press continue. Now configure the keyboard. Select your American keyboard layout and click on continue. And it will start detect and mount the installation media and loading all the additional component to start installing the Kylinux operating system on your laptop. Then it will automatically try to detect the internet connection of your laptop. Here you can see it showing me my Ethernet, USB net and WLAN 0. From here I am going to select the WLAN 0 option to get connected with my Wi-Fi access point. Now from this list you have to select your Wi-Fi access point then click on continue. Then click on WPA WPA2 and type your password of your Wi-Fi. Then it will automatically try to configure a laptop to get internet connectivity. Type your host name here. Now here you need to type your user account name. Here I'm going to type Mehdi Shakil. Then press continue. Then again continue. And set a password for your login. Then click on continue. Then select your time zone and continue. Then it will automatically start detecting the hard drive or the SSD whatever connected with your laptop. Now when you will get this screen, if you have connected one single SSD on your laptop, select the guide, use the entire disk and it will format your SSD entirely and install the Kylinux operating system on it. From here make sure to select your SSD drive. Then from here select all file in one partition and it will create all the requirement partition on your SSD drive. Then from here select finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Then click on continue. Then from write the changes to disk, select yes, then continue. And now it will format all the partition on your SSD drive. It's gonna take some time, so you have to wait until the installation has been completed. Now when you will get this screen, from here you have to select your desired desktop environment. For this installation, I'm gonna stay with the default option, which is XFC. Then click on continue. And now it will download all the packages and the desktop environment options and install it on your laptop. It also gonna take some time so you have to wait until the downloading and installation has been completed. And when the installation has been done, it will ask you to reboot your laptop. Okay guys, now after the reboot, here you can see we have successfully installed Kali Linux operating system directly on our laptop. Now you can smoothly use Kali Linux operating system on your laptop with all hardware power of your laptop computer. And now you can customize your Kali Linux operating system as like you want. So guys that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoy this video then please give it a big thumbs up 
and share this video with your friends. And guys, if you're new to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil. You are watching Hashtag Tutorial and I'm signing out.